How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group Mike here. Today we're going to break down another cool video. Someone actually tagged me in this video and many of you probably have already seen this. Uh, it's called I Crashed My Airplane, Trevor Jacob. And Trevor Jacob is trending right now for all the wrong things and i want to use this opportunity to just share my comments on the video so full disclaimer uh, for those of you who are new to the channel my name is mike i'm a private pilot i'm not a certified instructor so all the stuff that i will share in this video are based on my opinion and my knowledge and experience as a pilot uh, but i thought this was a great opportunity to just share some knowledge uh, surrounding this so i'm going to start playing the video first if you haven't already seen the video, a good preface here is it's basically an airplane takes off, a pilot here, Trevor, he flies over the mountains and then has an engine failure in which he then decided to jump out of the airplane as the best course of action. So, and that video now is seen maybe close to 800,000 views. Uh, last I checked this morning, and I'm sure it's seen a lot of views from folks who perhaps may not understand flying or don't understand pilotage. So I actually wanna use this opportunity to, to break some things down. The first myth I'm going to bust in this uh, commentary video is the fact that this whole thing is staged. If you are a pilot, you even have a basic knowledge of, of flying, everything that happened in this video looks very staged. And as we're, we're playing, as we're rolling it, I'm going to explain a few things why that's the case. So the first thing you see here is at this point, he's already probably at his cruise altitude. He's over the mountains and it shows that he's having some engine problems right now. He proceeds to open the door to the airplane and look down and I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, this never happens. <laughs> okay. This is the second myth we're going to bust here. Most pilots, any pilot, 10 out of 10 pilots who fly will never open the door as the first reaction to an engine failure to look down. I'm not sure what he's looking for. Now, generally speaking, your procedure when you have an emergency, one of it is to look for the best place to land, but you're not opening the door to look for that. You're not doing that. So that's one of the first red flags here to show that this is clearly staged because this will likely never happen in the real world. No pilot will open the door to the airplane wide, thousands of feet suspended in the air to see, okay, uh, where's the best place to land here? So that's another myth I'm busting here. Another thing we see here is as this staged engine failure is happening, you can see the pilot pulling and pushing the yoke of the airplane, which again goes against the grain of what you're supposed to do in an emergency situation. Now, speaking of that emergency situation, when you're training to become a pilot as a student, one of the things that your instructor would teach you is what's called an engine failure. They basically simulate this where they cut out the power and this is just to teach you the basic skills and procedures of what to do in case of an emergency like this, which happens, unfortunately, it does happen. And so if it were to happen to you, this is what you're going to do. Now, one of the things you will learn during this procedure is getting to know your airplane speeds and also the altitude and how those two will correlate. So in an emergency, you want to know the glide speed or the best glide speed for that airplane. And then also 
how high you are and that would help you make better decisions on what to do or where to put the airplane down so your best glide speed gives you best glide ratio meaning once if your engine were to quit on you how far do you have to be able to travel and perhaps find a good place to put the airplane down and then as far as altitude is concerned the higher you are generally speaking the more time you have so if you're at a say 10,000 feet that means likely you have more time to think and to look for the best place to land compared to if you were at 3,000 feet, then you don't have much time. But when you're trained for this procedure, you learn how the two works together and that helps you make better decisions. Now, going back to this video, you can see that once the engine fails here, and here's another opportunity to bust a myth, because I've spoken to some folks who think that when you have an engine failure, the airplane just drops out of the sky. Proof in this video, you can see that his prop stops spinning and there's no engine. But you can see that the plane is pretty much still afloat. And that is to show you that all airplanes will stay gliding even if you have an engine failure. And again, this allows the pilot to react in a smart way and find the best place to land that airplane. But also even before that, you want to check, you know, go do a cockpit check and see if there's something simple that caused the engine to fail. Perhaps maybe it's fuel starvation and just one switch could fix that. But unfortunately, that's not what the pilot did here. His first reaction was to open the door and see if there was a... Honestly, I'm not sure what he was looking for, but you never open the door in flight, okay? That's not something that you're taught as a pilot or as a student. And then after he jumps out of the airplane and lands somewhere, thank God, he proceeds to say that this is why I always wear a parachute because you never know what will happen. I'm just kind of taking in what just happened. Well, where the hell am I gonna land a freaking plane? I'm gonna die. That's why I always freaking fly with a parachute. Now, this is a myth. 10 out of 10 pilots, uh, let, me, let me rephrase that. 10 out of 10 general aviation or civil aviation pilots would not wear a parachute. I never wear a parachute when I fly. All pilots that I know don't wear parachutes when they fly. So I want to break that there. You don't wear parachutes when you fly, generally speaking. Even you think about it everyday people you're watching this right generally speaking the only time a pilot would jump out of an airplane is maybe they're in a war zone fighter pilots do wear parachutes and guess what the reason why they jump out of the airplane is not because their engine failed or there's a technical glitch or something in the airplane it's because if they stayed in that airplane they're gonna blow up with the airplane mid-air that's why pilots jump out because people are shooting at them so i just wanted to paint that picture that the only time you generally would need a parachute as a pilot is if you were in a war zone or perhaps you're skydiving whatever the case may be but truth be told most civil aviation pilots do not wear parachute they don't even think about it now you may have a parachute attached to the airplane like the plane that i fly the sling tsi it does have a parachute uh cirrus sr22 they have parachutes and the parachute is attached to the entire airplane not to the pilot to the entire airplane so i just wanted to put that out there that most pilots don't wear parachutes when they fly. And then the last myth I like to bust in this video has to do with the pilot reaction itself. Now we've already established that this 100% is staged. This is not a real crash, okay? Most pilots would not crash the airplane this way or just let the airplane go. But as I like to do, I always talk about the toxic behaviors of pilot. And again, this is one of the things that you're taught as a student pilot. And one that comes to mind here is called resignation. So you have a bunch of them. You have macho, you have invulnerability, you have resignation. So resignation simply means that if you were to have an emergency situation or something goes wrong and you just resign to doing nothing, right? Even though you have the time and you have enough room to actually correct the problem, when a pilot just resigns and says, oh, screw this, I'm done with, I'm gonna die, 
that's called resignation and your advice against that because the rule of thumb is always fly the airplane no matter what even if you need to crash land it always fly the airplane and what this pilot did here was he decided to resign from flying the airplane which again goes against what you're taught or what a safe pilot should do you don't resign if you have an emergency you try to figure out what the problem is again depending on how much time and altitude that you have and if you're not able to figure that out you're still flying the airplane you just don't give up you just don't resign to okay i'm screwed so i wanted to bust that myth too that real pilots actually try to do something to save the airplane i'm watching this video and i'm thinking to myself man what a waste for a beautiful airplane i know so many pilots who would have taken that airplane off of his hands but anyway it was a, it was a cool stunt uh and i assume that this was a good idea when he thought about it now i wanted to share my comments in this video but I would say that as a pilot, I like criticizing people. It's just what pilots do, right? But as a content creator, I always try to stay away from criticizing what others do. I imagine when Trevor thought about this, it's probably gonna get a lot of views. And it did, it did get all the views and attention, but the wrong attention. But I did wanna make a point for those who perhaps may not understand what was going on, that this is, what was staged here is the opposite of what a pilot should do in the case of an emergency okay and again i'm not a cfi i'm just another pilot um and this is based on my opinion and my knowledge of pilotage okay so boys and girls please practice safe behaviors okay and fly safe and and don't do what this guy did don't don't jump out of the plane if you have an emergency okay so that's my spiel for today thank you so much for watching i'm curious i want you guys to share your comments or your thoughts of what you think all of this is in the comments below thank you all for watching again my name is mike if this is your first time be sure to subscribe with the notification bell on also follow mojo grip on facebook and I will catch you all on the next video. Peace.